Hello everyone and welcome to the storage. And also, welcome to your new Let's Play. Kind of. You might be wondering why I'm sitting here in a little storage closet talking about a Let's Play. You also might be wondering what that little black brick on the table here was all about. Well, these two are related. You see, there really isn't any conventional way of recording this. And there really wasn't that much footage of it online either. So that's why I'm here. Here being in this storage closet because this is the only place I could get the bloody lighting to work. Since I already pointed this thing out, you probably aren't wondering what this is anymore. Since you have already seen the title of this video down there. Which is probably the main reason you started watching this video. <sighs> yes, so this is a tiger game. And it was actually really hard finding one that doesn't have a completely deteriorated screen. And it's it's a wonder that I have even this right here, right now. I bought this from a kind of lady in the United States. And it took over a month to get here. Because it was first lost by the USPS. And then it was lost by the Finnish post office. And when she eventually refunded the game to me, because nobody really knew where it was, uh, it suddenly arrived at my doorstep. So I had to refund the refund, and it was a complete hassle. But I have it here, right now. And, yeah, let's see if I can actually get it open with one hand. Because the locking system is surprisingly well working, even after all these years, and considering Tiger is not well known for quality products. <sighs> so, yes, like I said, it was a wonder I found a thing that had a working screen, because the versions I found of this are ones that have like a 20% screen degradation. And you can barely make anything out from a screen this small that has like 20% of it completely broken or well broken. Those, those lines here are the only ones that are on this version I have. And yeah, here it is. And now I will play some of it for you. And for that I will need a stand and I will need to do some other path to actually uh, make it look like something. So, if you're still sticking around with this video, let's get to it! <laughs> so, here it is in all its pixel glory. Too bad it doesn't say Resident Evil with whatever sound system this thing uses. That would be glorious. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, it has a link option in the main menu. This is actually the first Resident Evil game ever to have a multiplayer option. Yes, Resident Evil 2 had multiplayer in the series first. Two years before the arcade release of Survivor 2 and actually ten years, ten whole years before the release of Resident Evil 5. It's crazy to think about that. It's been so long. And this, yeah, this is the battle system in this game. It's, it's pretty basic. Oh, the door is locked, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I have to find a key because this is a Resident Evil game and I cannot go downwards. I can only go sideways and sometimes upwards and also sometimes downwards if it has an arrow. Which you'll probably see at some point when I decide to go somewhere. If you haven't figured out, this is pre-recorded, this, this gameplay here. I'm just commenting on it. And battling all because I can and because you probably won't want to you know, be left with just these voices and my fingers touching the buttons. Which kind of sounds weird. And here you see the item box system in this game. It's literally a box that contains items. There's no classic item box system in this game. Just those little boxes that have set items in them. And Actually, here you can see what happens if you keep your gun out and press A. You shoot. Wasting your ammo. 
if you want to go and open a box, you have to put your gun away and then press A to get the item. Or else you will just throw away your your ammo. And actually, you waste all the ammo that's in your gun if you combine the ammo box with the gun when it still has ammo in it. So, it's surprisingly realistic for a Resident Evil game. Uh, something you wouldn't expect from a version that looks like this. Also, something you wouldn't expect from a version that looks like this are these voices. They are actual voices that sound like something, like shuffling, like zombies going, shooting. Even the item, well, the menu sounds, they sound Resident Evil, which is kind of mind-blowing. I mean, I was expecting some beeps and boops from this, not actual sounds. I mean, granted, there aren't many sounds in this game, but there are sounds. That's probably the best thing you can say about this game. And it's not a bad game. It's just a... It's a condensed... Light version of the Gamecom game. It's not really the same game. But that's basically what it is. Since these are both Tiger games. No, I don't have a Gamecom. If I had, I would have done a video about that ages ago. And those are way too expensive for me to start buying just for one game. Then again, this thing here probably cost as much as a Gamecom would have, so I don't know. In, un unless Gamecom prices have changed in the past few years. Eh, who knows? But yeah, you can only combine uh, ammo to, to your guns, you can't combine herbs. I've tried, it just doesn't work. There's no combining herbs in this game. But I like the surprise that they made. Like, okay, that was kind of dodgy. The zombie attacking you, it's a very dodgy animation. But, you know, the slumping down and getting hit animations, they're pretty good, I'd say. And here I'm panicking because I ran out of ammo. And that's what happens a lot with this with this recording, so you'll, you're gonna be seeing a few edits here and there when the image got blurry, because my camera didn't know what to follow anymore when I started fumbling with the, with the system. I almost died here, actually. <laughs> it's, it's not hard to die in this game, but it's also not all that hard either, so... Yeah, it's a it's a fun game. I'll probably play through it on my own time at some point. Or maybe I'll make a long play because I'm bored. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a leaker in here. I'm not sure how many enemy types are in this game, but there are leakers. And zombies, at least. Not sure if there's going to be dogs. No, and here's a first day spray. How convenient. Uh, you can't read any of the papers on the wall, which is something I wasn't even expecting, but, you know, thought I'd point that out. Oh no, the screen went blurry again because I wiggled the system too hard or something, I don't know. Yeah, you, you really need to be right on the boxes to get the items. You also have to be facing sideways, you can't open a box facing downwards or upwards, which is weird, I guess. Yeah, this, this is what the game looks like. It's a, it's a strange game. I'll probably show some more interesting bits, if you can call them that. Uh, and I'll be skipping to them immediately! <laughs> or maybe I'll just make this go super fast, because I find it hilarious hearing Leon's like that tapping sound he makes when he walks. <laughs> when the game is sped up. And actually here I just found the first key. There's two keys that you need to get through the first first area. And this is actually the first area of the first level. I find this out later on and I thought that this game is going to be just this one area, you beat it, good for you, you get the high score. Now battle your friends with the... Yeah, the link system actually works with a link cable. There was a 
dedicated link cable to link two of these systems together. Uh, yes, I, I thought that this game was gonna be really short. Here's the second key. Uh, it wasn't. It's surprisingly long. And here you can see me opening a one lock door from the very beginning of the game. We went completely around, the enemies respawned and whatever. Liquors appeared. Yeah, this this door is locked. So I'm gonna use the key. There aren't any use item option, there's just equip. And when once you equip a key, it uses the key. Doesn't really matter which key. If you have multiple keys then you will just, you know, open doors! Shoot zombies that are standing behind the doors. So, you know, instead of skipping ahead, actually I'm just gonna mention that all the items are always set. I said that before, but every time you play you know what you're getting. There's handgun ammo, there's herbs, first I spray keys, actually other weapons, you can find other weapons. And this time I'm actually going to skip ahead until I find another one, because all this game release is going around and shooting things. I actually hardly got lost in this game, which is something that never happens to me, and with a game this confusing, I'm surprised I can actually navigate this, you know, without a problem. So, so that's the thing with this game. Anyway, skip ahead, woo! And here we are, back with the never-ending hallways. I know this is the clip where I find the next weapon, but I'm not sure when it happens, so... You know, I was lazy and didn't actually cut the starting bit of this. So, you know, have fun with this. It's probably this one, yeah. The uh, M110P, the shotgun of this game. I'm not actually sure if there are more weapons in this game. Probably, I don't know. Because my camera ran out of space about half an hour in. So we will never know until we find out later on when I get around to playing this game again. Yeah, the shotgun is a really powerful weapon in this. It one-shots pretty much every zombie, unless you get a terrible shot. Then you have to shoot them twice. But usually it's a one-shot, and with liquors they take two shots from the old shotgun, which is a good deal, because you don't really find that much ammo for it. And actually the ammo in this game is really sparse, like you actually have to save your ammo. Especially with the handgun, you can't just go shooting around, you actually have to wait for the zombies to get in line with you. Because you can't shoot anything if they are not in direct line from you. Uh, either, you know, sideways or right above you or right below you. You, you actually have to take those shots and be careful not to combine the handgun ammo or well any gun ammo with your guns before they run out of ammo because then you end up wasting bullets and when I first played this I actually ran out of ammo I had to start dodging zombies which is it works in this game it's not easy it works <laughs> you can do it if you really believe in yourself but yes you actually have to conserve ammo, which is not something I expected from a game that you really only play to aim for a higher higher score. I actually just figured out this was the way I was supposed to go. I almost almost went past it, but for some reason in this game my ability to navigate through the areas works. And here I find out how big the game is, because I've never pressed the map button until now, and I realized, oh Jesus fucking Christ, there's a lot to cover. But this is really near the end of the first stage, and right at the bottom of the map it said level 1, and I almost, like, sighed when I was recording this, like, audibly, because <laughs> I was thinking, oh god, there's more of this! I thought it was just one level, but apparently there's level one and more to come. Oh dear me. Oh yes, more green herbs. Uh, somewhere around here I actually tried to combine herbs. And like I said, it actually doesn't work. Yeah, here it is. I 
tries to demonstrate combining herbs, and it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's a shotgun being in the inventory. I'm not using it until later on. And I'll just skip right to the end of this level so you will see what happens. And here we are right at the ending where I'm shooting a zombie and there's actually a leaker waiting right behind that one last locked door. Uh, the final locked door in this first level uh, which opens with the key 3 I found at some point. And as you can see, I only had one ammo in my handgun, so it's not gonna be killing that leaker. I panic and I, instead of combining handgun and ammo to my handgun, I decide to use the shotgun. And here you can see how that works. Getting almost killed by a leaker. And there goes the big bastard. I also could have just gone back to the room where I came from, uh, reloaded my handgun, and then just went back to shoot the liquor because the game actually remembers how many times you've shot an enemy which is surprising really and you could use that to screw with the game because the enemy positioning changes back to the starting position every time you leave and get back to the room again so if a liquor takes six shots you can just Shoot three times, go back, reload, and get back. The leaker is back where it started from, and you can shoot three more times, and it's dead. And here you can see the end of the level gives you your highest score up until that point, which for me was 128. And at the bottom of the screen you can see my password for the next level, which is ghouls. You can barely make it out because of the lines being right on top of it. The game does not have a save that goes to the memory of the system, and as you could see at the main menu when I started this game, there was a load game option. That's a password load save, and it uses those passwords it gives you at the end of the level. You can use my <laughs> password if you ever happen to get your hands on one of these. But I still wouldn't recommend it. Because I don't have footage of it, but I tried it. And if you use the load game with the, with the password, will remember your score and where you left off, but it won't remember your items. So everything I had in my inventory is gone, except my handgun. So basically I have to start the game like from scratch, just one level higher. And I really don't know why you ever would want to play this game anyway, because you've pretty much seen everything this game has to offer, and the, unless there's like some crazy epic ending that I'm just not aware of. I'll find out eventually. And annoyingly, if you leave the game on for, you know, if you don't touch it and you just leave it on the table being on, it shuts itself down and you have to use your your password to load your game if you can make it out i probably wouldn't even have remembered or known what my password was if i didn't have this footage but that's pretty much everything there is to this game i like i said my camera ran out of space a bit into the second level and anyway this video has gone for way longer than i expected uh, I guess I just had a lot to say about the game. I don't know. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I will see you in whatever I decide to do next. Thanks for watching and bye bye!